robotic partial left hepatectomy for metastatic colon cancer to the liver. 55-year-old woman presents with metastatic colon adenocarcinoma to the liver, status post-colon resection one year prior. A CT scan showed a 1.6 cm mass in the left hepatic lobe and 1.8 cm cyst in the right side. The CT scan showed a lesion in segment 3 of the liver very close to the base of the umbilical vein. The coronal imaging confirmed the presence of lesion in segment 3 of the liver as shown on the screen. The operation started with liver mobilization by taking down the adhesions. The left coronary and triangular ligament were taken down with robotic hook cautery as well as bipolar graspers. The falciform ligament was also taken down all the way up to the hepatocephal confluence. The section was done very carefully not to injure the left hepatic vein. The left lateral section of the liver was elevated superiorly. The adhesions on the inferior surface was taken down sharply. The robotic arm 4 utilizing bowel grasper was very helpful for the dissection. In this screen we can see the Arensius ligament was opened along its trajectory. The gastrohepatic ligament was also opened to make sure there is no accessory left hepatic artery supplying the left hemiliver. As we can see here, the liver is elevated cephalat. The adhesions to the falciform ligament was taken down with hook cautery as well. A small subcapsular lesion was biopsied with energized scissors. This biopsy was sent to pathology for frozen section. Intraoperative liver ultrasound was done to confirm the presence of lesion in segment 3 of the liver. While examining the liver, we also drew the transection line where the liver resection will be done to remove the liver lesion with negative margins. The base of the umbilical vein was exposed with lateral traction of the future river remnant and medial traction of the left lateral section. Now we are entering the base of the umbilical vein for inflow vascular control to minimize bleeding during this operation. The hook cutter is very useful to dissect the left pore vein branches going to segment 3 and segment 2. In order to minimize bleeding, we utilize inflow vascular control using straight vascular bulldog clamp. One was placed on the left pole vein and one was placed on the left hepatic artery branches, supplying segment 2 and 3 of the liver. Once the inflow control was completely obtained, we started the liver parenchyma transection superficially with uh, monopolar uh, scissors cautery. The assistant at the bedside is holding the laparoscopic suction for smoke evacuation as well as uh, blood from the liver parenchymal mm -hmm. surface. We utilize extended vessel sealer to divide the deeper liver parenchyma with very careful attention on the crossing vascular branches. It is very careful and very useful to insert the vessel sealer carefully while examining or paying attention to the uh, movement of the liver parenchyma to make sure there's no resistance met during placement or insertion of the vessel sealer. This is done to avoid bleeding or injuring the crossing vascular branches. Once we are down to the base of the umbilical vein, the bulldogs were removed and we utilize laparoscopic linear vascular stapler to transect the portal pedicle going to segment 2 and 3, including the baldach in an end block fashion. This was done with um, 60 millimeter laparoscopic linear stapler. The stapling was done along the Arensis ligament heading toward the stump of the left hepatic vein. As you can see on the picture, very clearly the left hepatic vein was 
visualized. Minimal bleeding was seen during this liver transection. Again, the FESA sealer was uh, utilized to transect the superficial liver parenchyma in order to expose the stump of the left hepatic vein. Up to this point, we fire a second linear vascular stapler to transect the left hepatic vein flush to the inferior vena cava along the Rensius ligament. It was done uneventfully without significant bleeding. As you can see, there is still a part of the left hepatic vein that was remaining. Now we fire this third stapler to finish off the liver resection in a very bloodless manner. The superficial liver parenchymal hemostasis was obtained with application of bipolar robotic instrument. A large endoscopic retrieval bag was inserted into the abdomen to remove the specimen. As we can see, the liver resection surface was dry without any evidence of bleeding or bile leak. The assistant is actively evacuating the smoke. Marken injection was given to the abdomen to minimize post pain. The port side were closed under direct laparoscopic visualization in a standard manner. The patient did very well without any interrupted complication. Pathology showed moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma with mucinous feature. Surgical margins were negative. Patient did well and was discharged on positive day two.